but let me ask you though. Uh, right now, uh, we're watching Trump go through this this ridiculous potential <clears throat> indictment from this fat loser Alvin Bragg, and she's even worse, Letitia James, E A G. And I said this this morning to Brian Kilmeade. I maintain it. Maybe the least sympathetic figure in the history of the country. Donald Trump, maybe the least sympathetic figure, but right now he's garnering sympathy from a lot of folks, maybe even independents. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely. And this is a disgrace. I mean, listen, I, to, to have a prosecutor abuse his power like this, basically what you're supposed to do if you're a prosecutor, you see a crime, you find the person who committed it. In this case, he sees Donald Trump and finds to concoct and create some phony crime to accuse him of. This is an absolute disgrace, and I, I just wish that people on both sides would be honest enough to realize that. I would hope if this was happening to Bernie Sanders, I'd speak out. If it was happening to Bill de Blasio, I'd speak out. People on the left, it's just wrong. Listen, we should fight it out politically. Like, you know, you and Bernie uh, uh, you know, did it in the ring. <laughs> fight it out in the uh, ring of politics. Yep. Don't be using the power to handcuff and jail people. That's what goes on in Banana Republic. So, no, this case is a disgrace. Now, I just wish that Donald Trump can really rise above this, show that he and that he's not going to get out in the street with them because then it becomes 50-50 in the media. This should be covered 90-10 in favor of Trump if he just handles it the right way, shows some you know, some real class and strength. And again, what what's happening in all these cases, by the way, listen, I just read different things Trump did. None of them constitutes a crime. This in New York is no way can no. anybody call this a crime. No. And you go down to Georgia, you go to Jan- uh, January 6th, which I thought he was wrong on, but not acting criminally at all. We right. can't be using the criminal courts to satisfy political grievances. And the smartest thing, I said this before, that Donald Trump has done, He's gotten Joe Tacopina to represent him here in New York. Oh, he loves when you say that. And I agree with you. 